Hey, what's up, everyone? I am back, back to talk about more videos, or as Clownfish TV would call it, the Daily Dose of Dismo Disney, because, you know, that's what they call, you know, when they talk about Disney news, they talk about Daily Dose of Dismo Disney. Yeah, this is definitely going to be interesting here. I'm going to be talking about the the Bob Chapek situation and all of that. Um, before I get any further, please subscribe for more videos and content. Um, I, I I talk about um, news related stuff. I do theories. I do reactions. Well, I don't do them as much anymore because. I I don't know how to edit this stuff, you know, but I I do them sometimes, and I also do reviews. So if you guys are interested in that stuff, please check out my playlist where I store all my videos. Right now, I'm I'm in the process of reviewing, you know, Blue Sky and, and um the Fairly Odd Parents. So hope you guys enjoy those videos. Um, and this video is not news related. This is more of a theory here, a theory. So this video may be a little bit longer. Now, um, now um, I'm going to be talking about this here. Um, you know, like last year, Bob Iger step, stepped out. You know, he stepped out of, of, of Disney and Bob Chapek became the CEO. He became the CEO of Disney. So, um, so there's, there's lots of stuff that happened and stuff, and I feel like, here's the thing what I feel like. I feel like that they're, that they're, they're trying to frame Bob Chapek and make him look like the bad guy, so they can make, they can make Bob Iger look like the good guy. But everyone's not stupid. Everyone is, is quite aware of, of, um, Disney doing all this shit, and, uh, People aren't falling for it anymore. People were falling for it, but but since there's so many people out there on YouTube that are covering this stuff, it, it's it's not it's not like you know Disney can hide from this anymore. People like Clownfish TV used to used to work for Disney, you know, and they, they know what it's like working for them and. So did the many others. Um, I can't name any off the top of my head, but there was this one guy who 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 did partnered up with this one guy on his video, because people do that sometimes and talked about this. And he used to work for Disney too. So there's clearly a lot of employees that used to work for Disney that are now you know, YouTubers to talking about this stuff. Um, but yeah, um. But a lot, a lot of stuff is going on with Disney. A lot of stuff. It's, it's, it's not looking too good for them. It's not. Um, it ain't looking too good for them right now. Um, they're, they're, they're. Um, they, they've lost a lot of money. Their, their stock is, is low. It's really low. Um, and I think what's gonna happen if, if Netflix had their stock, you know, stock, you know, dropped and stuff and. If they had their, their stock, you know, dropping, then Disney's probably going to have that, well, well, their subscribers are going to probably be g disappearing too, because, see, they were, they were hoping to beat, beat Netflix, they were hoping to beat them, but I, I, I know they're not going to beat them, and, and Netflix has got way more content than Disney, and if Netflix is losing subs, and so is Disney, so... Disney may be cheaper, but a, but a lot of people have, you know, are pissed off at Disney and stuff. Rather if it's the Florida bill, you know, them, them freaking deleting scenes and them buying up properties and becoming a monopoly, you know. There, there's a lot of reasons why people are, are mad at Disney. It's not just the Florida bill. But here's the thing. This is where it comes into place for the video here. I feel like people are and people are trying to and and, uh, and Disney are trying to frame Bob Chapek for this. Now Bob Chapek again, he's he's not he's not innocent with some of this stuff. Like, like you know the the price is kind of increasing and stuff. That's part of him. He's part of it. He's not all a part of that. Like, I don't think he was part of the Genie app, but I think Clownfish TV said that was uh, Bob Iger, but. He has done some stuff that's not, you know, very good, and, um, 
he's, th he's still, you know, pushing all this stuff forward because he's the CEO now. So I think he tried to fix the company by making it a little bit, by not making it focused on, you know, politics and stuff as much. But that ended up failing and not doing very well. And yeah, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just not really doing very well. But a lot of this stuff that Bob Chapek is, you know, that, that's the thing. I think Bob Iger, here's the thing. I think he left because he knew the company was getting pretty bad. He left because he left because he, he knows it, it was getting bad. Which is kind of, which makes Bob Iger kind of a, a, an asshole. He's a fucking prick is what he is. He basically, he drugged this company into the ground and freaking, and what does he do? He fucking leaves it, leaves it, and decides to go move onward. Because he's, he's the one who, who you know, he wanted, to, you know, to, for the company to focus more on politics and stuff because, you know, he wanted to, you know, be, run for office. Well, they talked about him running for office. I, I, don't, I don't think he would, because people are starting to, to open up now to this stuff, and they're starting to realize that Bob, Bob Iger is, is the reason why a lot of this stuff has gone, you know, pretty bet, bet downhill. Now, I've, I've, I've had a few people in the comments, like in comments on, not my videos, but other people saying that they, they kind of, you know, miss Bob Iger. But trust me, Bob Iger, if he came back as CEO, because there's rumors that he might come back, I hope he doesn't freaking come back because... He'll freaking make the company worse, or he'll keep he'll keep this shit going, and it will freaking drag on for another decade or so. I'm not gonna lie, I'm one of the people that want Disney to kind of just die. I I know I, it's kind of sad because it's gonna put a lot of people out of a job, but let's face it, it's not doing very good. It's really not, and and there's a lot of problems with Disney now. They, one problem is, again, they're too big. They are way, way too big because Bob Iger overspent on Fox. He freaking massively overspent on it. And I was telling my, my family that, like, talking to them, how, how, you know, them buying, like, them buying, you know, Fox was a stupid idea. But they're like, you know, it's not a stupid idea. It actually helped, it saved them, or, well, not saved, but it helped them out. It was a good thing. It expanded their library. Yes, it expanded their library, but a lot of those movies you could get on DVD, and and they don't really have anything new coming to Disney Plus. Really, I mean, they got some stuff, but not a whole lot. So I don't. I don't think the streaming stuff is going to end up really well. I don't think it's going to. I think it's going to backfire and stuff. And I don't know. There will obviously be some streaming service. I don't think they're going to completely go away, but I don't think that they're, they're going to be as big. They're, they're, they were big, you know, the last decade and, and all of that, but I think they're going to start declining or th this decade. I think they're going to start declining because because there's too many of them, and I feel like like some of the massive the massive corporation ones are not doing very well and. If they're not doing very well, the smaller ones probably aren't either. But, um, yes, but... Basically, yeah, though, but yeah, Bob Chapek, again, like I said, he, he's not the, you know... He's not the, 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 the best guy either. He's done some shady stuff, too, but compared to Bob Iger, Bob Iger is freaking way worse than Bob Chapek is. Like I said, he he, he paid, was pandering to China, and he was not saying Chinese people are bad, but the, but he was trying to freaking censor everything in America to like pander to China. It's freaking disrespectful, and and you know it's just not not good. Like I said, I'm not I'm not saying Chinese people are bad. I'm just like, I mean, I, I I'm just like. Like, like why, why, why does, it's not just Disney it was doing this, it was also other studios, but Disney did this the most, because Disney had Bob Iger that wanted to run for office, and he left the company because he was hoping by 2024 he'd be able to maybe run for office or something. Now, I don't think he's going to be able to, because people are opening up to him now, but... 
But I, 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 don't, I don't know, though. But that's the thing, though. Yeah, um, I feel like, he, like he, knew, he knew it was getting pretty bad. And he feel like people were going to start complaining. So what did he do? He decided to leave Disney. Leave Disney. So, so Bob, Bob Chapek can take all the, the hits and blames for all the shit he fucking did. All the shit he did. And, you know, that, that's the thing. And it's, again, it's not all Bob Chapek's fault why they own so many properties, while, why this freaking company, you know, has gotten so political and with, 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 you know, with, you know, like politics and stuff. It's not, it's not all Bob Chapek's fault, but some of the stuff is. Like I said, he, he had, you know, earlier I said that he, um, he was trying, he was the one that was Raising prices and stuff for some stuff and 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 again he not only he was raising prices but but he's still you know pushing stuff forward like we're still getting all, all these these sequels to like all these sequels to like um we're still getting you know all, all these you know sequels to like movies and stuff and they're still making live action remakes it feels like um. The thing is, he, he, he was, he was, you know, he just became the CEO a, a few months ago after Bob Iger left, but, but that's the thing, he, he became the CEO, but, but that, that was a few months ago, so you think by now he would try to be fixing some of these problems, but he's not, it's just, it, I, I don't think Disney is doing very well, I don't think it's, it's doing pretty bad, and, a lot of other studios are trying to learn from Disney's mistakes because they're they're starting to change and stuff. But I don't know. I don't think it's doing very good. And a lot of their a lot of their movies have been bombing in the box office. Turning Red, which was it was from Pixar, Disney's you know studio that that you know that actually is is them doing the best. I mean, yeah, there's ABC Family too, but that that's that's not really their studio. That's um. That's that's more of a a, a TV station. Um, I mean, like movie studios, because Lucasfilm, 20th Century Fox, Marvel are all are all doing really bad. They're doing pretty bad. Now, 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 Marvel is doing. It's like it's like hit or miss. While Lucasfilm, Lucasfilm is like like doing really bad. I mean, I heard there's some shows that are doing pretty good and stuff, but a lot of the a lot of the stuff's been doing pretty bad. Like it's been been doing really bad. And um and like I said, um like I said too, it's um I've also said, you know, point I pointed out too that the um that you know like that you know like I said Mar like Marvel. Yeah, Marvel like I said is doing is doing, you know it's it's doing hit or miss. But the thing is, Marvel, the movies that are actually hitting, are not hitting very, very good. Spider-Man's hitting very good, but Spider-Man's more of a Sony thing. It's it's more Sony. Yeah, Dis Disney owns owns part of Spider-Man, but but Sony owns most of Spider-Man, so Spider-Man's mostly Sony. So so Disney doesn't really get a good t chunk of the money from you know Sony. But, but, but yeah, I, I, I don't know though, but, but like I said though, Disney's just not doing very good. A lot of people are, are just moving on from them. People are just tired of their stuff and are moving on. They're tired of them, you know, censoring movies and shows and stuff just to make them more kid friendly or something. And people are just, people are just tired of that. Yeah, they're, they're just ty tired of that. I don't, I don't blame them. I mean, I mean, it's not, it's not Walt Disney's company anymore. It hasn't been in a, for a long time now. Like even Disney's, you know, Walt Disney's relatives don't own really the company anymore. I think I looked it up. One time they own like three percent of the company. That's really small. They don't own all of it at all. It's just, it's just not, not Disney anymore. It's not. 
Now, I, I've heard there has been some, you know, problems with Walt himself, but I, I don't think it, it would, if he was alive right now, it would have, it would have gotten this bad. Like, it would have gotten, you know, this, this bad, but, but yeah, I, I, I don't know, though, but. Like I said to a Bob Chapek again, like Bob Chapek again is not, he's not innocent. He's done some stuff. He's still pushing some of this stuff forward, but. But Bob Iger is what drove this company under because they cut, they bought up all these properties. You know, not knowing what to do with them. Like, like I mean, Pixar was one thing, but they bought the Muppets. The Muppets, like, like haven't been touched for a long time. I mean, they got made some shows, but I hear a lot of that stuff's been censored on Disney Plus too. So, so uh, yeah. But they bought, they bought, you know, that they bought Marvel. Marvel was okay, but then they bought Lucasfilm. Lucasfilm. There hasn't really been anything really great coming out of Lucasfilm. I mean, there, there, there was, there was the, um, there was the, you know, the. The Mandalorian, that were, there was that, but then there's like the the Bob, I mean the the, the Boba Fett show, which did, did pretty bad. It didn't do very good, and then like, and then they also had you know, the sequel movies and stuff didn't do very good, and then like, and then there there was there was a season there was a season seven of um a season seven of uh. Yeah, there's a season seven of um of the Clone Wars TV show, but but that that was going to that was gonna be under George Lucas, but they got canceled because Disney bought Fox. I mean, I mean Lucasfilm. So uh, yeah, that they I think it would have been different though. Um, but I I don't know though. Um. But there just hasn't been really good. And yeah, like I said, they bought Fox too. They bought Fox, and Fox was probably the, the a big mistake they were going to make. Um, what they made by buying it. It was a huge. It was a huge mistake. When they bought Fox, because they overspent on it. They didn't get really anything from it. They got Blue Sky, but they shut Blue Sky down. So uh, yeah. It's just not not doing very good, and it's sad that Bob Chapek is going to be the one blamed for all this. I'm 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 really I'm really hoping to I'm really hoping that that Bob Iger doesn't freaking come back either. I'm not I'm not gonna say there's probably I mean there's probably I don't think Disney can be saved. I think it's done for. I think it's just going to become this it's going to be this political company and corrupted company forever. I mean, it could change, but there's a lot of mistakes. They gotta fix a lot. There has to be a lot of mistakes they gotta fix, and I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, like I, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say there. But yeah, there's. So that I mean, their 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 theme park seem to be doing pretty good. Um. But I heard a lot of people are leaving, the, the, well, canceling their trips, and then you got Disney Plus. A lot of people are canceling Disney Plus. Yeah, people are just canceling Disney Plus because um, a lot of people might say because of the Florida bill, but there's a lot more problems than that. They're not they're not releasing enough content on Disney Plus, and uh, they keep censoring everything. So. People can't enjoy, you know, certain stuff. Heck, I, I made a ranting video on that last year on Disney Plus, and uh, I, I hated it. I hated it because, you know, because they freaking removed the the you know the the, the classic intros from all their films and re replaced it with a modern one, which I hated because I'm sick and tired of seeing the modern intro now. I'm. Um, I think that video kind of, I kind of don't think it was the best. No, don't get me wrong, it, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, terrible, but I, I don't know, I feel like it kind of, 
due to it being one of my earlier videos on YouTube, I feel like kind of the ranting kind of went on a little bit, but I, I don't know. I don't know what else to really say about this. I just, I don't know, I said I just, we're going to have to see where this goes all though. But yeah, I have a feeling that, that, that they're, they're purposely, they're purposely blaming Bob Chapek for this. I think they knew what they were doing. They, Bob, Bob Iger would, would, would leave the company while all this shit was going on. And, and he would leave, leave the company and retire. That's what he said, at least to retire, but I don't know about that. But he would retire and leave the company and leave Bob Chapek to blame for all of this. So that way he, he doesn't take the heat and then he'll probably come back and, and I, I, I don't think the plan's going to work. I think it's going to fail, but I know exactly what they're doing. They're trying to make Bob Chapek look like he's the one who did all this shit when he did not. Like I said, he didn't do, he's not completely innocent, but... But yeah, but yeah, technically, yeah, he, um, like I said, he's, he's not, you know, innocent, but he didn't, he didn't buy up all these properties. He didn't push the company into politics. That was all Bob Iger that freaking did this. And Bob Iger left the company. Like I said, he left the company. So Bob, so he didn't take the heat making him look like the bad guy while Bob Iger looks like the good guy. And, I um, mean, you know, what's going to probably happen is he probably might come back. Unfortunately, he'll come back. I say unfortunately because I don't want him to come back because he freaking ruined Disney. He ruined it. He destroyed it. I wouldn't want him to come back. But he'll probably come back and and, and, and his plan will fail because peop, people are, are, are opening up to this. There, there's so many people covering this stuff now. So where, where, where Disney is not safe anymore for... The company ain't safe. I'm not saying the people, you know, working there aren't safe, but I, I, I'm, I'm just, just saying, you know, that I don't feel like, you know, I, I don't feel like, you know, Bob Iger's plan is going to work. Now, this is more of a theory. I'm not sure if this is actually how it goes, but I can totally see that. I can totally see Bob Iger leaving Disney, putting Bob Chapek into, in, you know, his temporary replacement because they have theories he might be gone next year but, but, they, but they, they they put him in charge only for Bob Iger to you know come back because everyone took the heat out on Bob Chapek and he came he came back and uh, that would and you know and that would be that would be it but I don't know I really don't know what to say though there's just a lot of stuff going on in Disney and all that, and it's just not looking too good. Um, it's not looking too good, and and I, and I know I talked I talked about I talked about too how um, I talked about too how you know how I kind of want Disney to die. I kind of do. I'm not gonna lie. It's just, it's not gonna get any better. I have a feeling it's just gonna get worse. I mean, there's a possible like slim chance it could get better, but. I, I highly doubt it. I don't feel like it's going to become good anymore. I think it's kind of gone downhill. It's gotten pretty bad. And um, there's probably going to be massive layoffs, more layoffs, because Disney is losing tons and tons of money, and they're probably gonna shut. They might shut down Pixar and merge it with, with Disney. Honestly, they could do that because I don't know. We haven't really seen any any you know new films announcements for um, Pixar yet. So, um, someone mentioned that they had had you know new Pixar films announced, but they also mentioned Toy Story Five, and I'm like, yeah, I don't think that's real. I think that's fake because because Toy Story. Toy Story 5 would not exist because Pixar has moved on from sequels. So, I don't know. I think Pixar may be gone by next year, too. I don't know. It's getting really bad. I don't know about you guys. I wouldn't want to work for Disney. Not, not at this point. But, I don't know. I'm going to be letting this go, though. Um, 
please subscribe for more on the videos. I guess you can see the Muppets up on the picture there, I guess, too. You can see Kermit the Frog by Mickey Mouse. Or Mickey Zap by Bob J. Beck Shoulder. You can see him there. I actually didn't notice that. Anywho, though, I'm going to be letting this go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos and content. And see you guys next time. This is Dash Show Rose, out.